don't think I've been doing much directing of what's been going on, but I think we're officially in phase three. So welcome to moving vlog part three. We have everything in the new place. This is kind of more of the fun part, organizing, making things look cute, and just getting settled in, getting cozy. It's freezing cold <laughs> up here. I think it's cold everywhere, but... It's especially cold up here right now. Very windy. But I'm about to go on a walk. Just thought I'd start a vlog here. And then we'll come back and get into it. I was on my walk earlier and I found this book in the little like the book exchange things magic and medicine of plants really cool oh there's a bunch of bookmarks really cool good to find I was so excited to see this my skin is so messed up right now sometimes I notice that I like put off Bo's here for the day also just get used to him sometimes i realize that i put off making things happen like when i move i almost draw out the moving process there's stuff i can get done and knock out and then it'll feel like i'm moved in but for some reason i'm like oh it's too soon to feel moved in like because then you'll all you'll already be moved in and then what are you gonna do and that's bad not bad it's neither bad nor good but i'm like oh just get it done so you can start like living in the apartment I was just noticing like a really just me procrastinating a little bit because this main room has still just been filled with like me organizing stuff and needing to put stuff down into like my little storage area below and i can easily do that it's super easy it's already done it just needs to be moved below i'm like let's just do it so then we can start making it look nice and put together and pretty in here so and then start enjoying the faster you get there you can just enjoy it you know yesterday i got security cameras which i'm not big into like up like like i never thought i'd have security cameras because it just feels i don't know why it felt i don't know if i'm superstitious or whatever but i was like i just don't want them but i am just like isolated enough that i'm like no i think it's good and now i can see all the animals that go by and there's a skunk living at my house i don't know what to do about that and hopefully he doesn't spray bobo while he's here <laughs> but it is cute to see the animals at night Oh, he said, that's fine. We're just in the kitchen. In the phase of getting everything together, I have a great sponsor for the timing of Thrive Market, which I'm sure most of you have heard of. They're a membership-based grocery platform. They have so many offerings, not just groceries. They have a huge selection of organic groceries, supplements, eco-friendly cleaning supplies, beauty items, personal care items, and a bunch of other options as well. I love getting like a restock for my kitchen, especially after a move. It's really nice because just things get moved around. It's a nice time to refresh some kitchen staples so I can really start cooking again. My goal for this year, and it kind of has to be my goal, is just getting back to cooking more, take out way less, and I think the switch in my head, which I always do, is 
having more groceries on hand so that I can just really cook and make more elaborate meals, but they always end up being cheaper than getting takeout anyways or DoorDash or whatever. But I'll show you what I got. I already opened this coffee, obviously. Um, I needed this, was in a pinch, was moving, ran out of coffee, and then I was like, dang. Then I remembered this, so that was really nice. Matcha latte mix. Favorite crackers, they're the General Mills almond flour, rosemary, and sea salt. These are mm, tuna, stocked up, always good to have in the fridge. This fried popcorn also was in a pinch for a snack. Popcorn, so easy to make, because I got this gluten-free pancake mix. I got this basil paste, because I like making like basil aioli, like basil mayo to go on sandwiches. So I thought that that seemed kind of tahini. Also was out of this. Also opened this already, <laughs> already used it. Was very useful to have this come in right now cashew butter, and I got this Japanese barbecue sauce. I've always wondered if this is good and it looks yummy. Some more info, all orders over $49 ship for free. They also guarantee that the $60 yearly membership fee will pay for itself. The savings you get from your groceries don't hit the $60 mark, they'll credit you the difference. You can also filter their website by dietary and lifestyle choices so you can just easily find what you're looking for, which is great. If this sounds intriguing to you, you can go to thrivemarket.com backslash Jenny Bourne to get 30% off your first order and also a gift valued up to $60. So check that out. It'll be linked in my description. <laughs> I'm making a little list of what I need to get for the apartment still. Just like the bigger things, like luckily I feel like this move has not been as crazy, like needing to buy a bunch of stuff, but I need a big rug for this room. The floors in here are not actually like real hardwood, so I feel like not as bad covering them up. So I need a big rug for this room. I think I'm sold on getting like a big cobalt blue rug. I feel like very attracted to cobalt blue right now. And I feel like I, it's something that I will stay liking. It might be kind of nice to have a rug that's just like one color instead of having patterns on it just because I do have so much else going on. But I can't decide the size. Maybe I'll try to show you guys the floor plan. And I want to get your take on it because I'm thinking maybe I need a square rug for this room so I get like an 8x8 eight eight rug or something. But then it feels... I don't know why that feels wrong. And then I was like, maybe a seven by nine is better to kind of like elongate a pathway like through the house type of vibe. Like I felt like that maybe has more flow. I'm not sure, rugs are really hard for me. Then I would like a long runner rug for in my kitchen. A rug in a kitchen's hard, but I also don't love the floors in there either. So I, again, just like kind of don't mind covering them up. Rugs for my bathroom. Also a lot of rugs because it's um, concrete and I feel like cute like little rugs, like three like smaller rugs because there is kind of a lot of square footage in the bathroom for a bathroom. A bunch of little kind of colorful rugs will look really cute in there. And then I need a dining table for outside, which I feel like is probably gonna be a Facebook marketplace find. Yay, we got a mirror. We didn't have this before. Yee. Now I can start putting my stuff away. Um, I got this at the Rose Bowl today. I didn't realize they were gonna bring it. Like they were just like, we're here. I didn't know they were even coming tonight, but it was so nice of them to deliver. Really hard to see this light. It's this amazing chest. Bad light in here at night, so it's kind of hard to see. But they just really muzzled it up 
a walkway, which was really, really nice of them. My original thought was that I was gonna move it on the bookcase that I have this sitting on and put the bookcase down below in my little office area, like workroom, and then whatever. But now I'm thinking it might actually look good once the surfboard and everything's moved, like in this back corner. I don't know if that's gonna be too much stuff, but I think I might try it there first before I like move all the books off of the bookshelf and put it there. You gotta see it in the light because it's amazing in the light, but put it against there or I could switch it out and put it here. Just sitting here journaling, trying to do morning pages again. It's already been two weeks into me living here, which feels wild, like time has kind of flown. I already feel so different than how I felt before. Change of scenery can really be such a good catalyst for other change. I truly do believe that, especially, I don't know if it's an ADHD thing, but new surroundings I think in general for people are very helpful because it just triggers new reactions to the environment and I don't know, I think it can be so helpful. But I do just feel really different than how I felt even two weeks ago. And it's interesting to see like how quickly somewhere feels like home. Like I was editing the first moving vlog yesterday and that just went live and it was almost hard to edit the footage because it felt so foreign almost or it just felt like it was from a long time ago but it was actually only two weeks ago and the stress i was feeling like watching the clips back i was like oh man that was really stressful and like i was feeling so run down but now i'm feeling so different and things change so fast and you go through the hard moments and then you get to the other side and even the first few nights here, like I was so scared sleeping here and I was just feeling really anxious and it felt so foreign being here. And then now this feels like home and looking at my old apartment, I'm like, oh yeah, I miss it a little bit, but this really feels like home now already. I don't feel any weirdness, like not going back to my other place. Like this is my home now. And I feel that fully. So, that's interesting, just how quickly your mind adapts to new things. Especially if you're going through something challenging, just remembering what the other side feels like and that you get to the other side and then suddenly, once you've adapted to it, all of the other things kind of fall away. But yeah, I don't know, I just thought that's my thoughts. Those are my thoughts this morning, but I do think it's kind of nice. Okay, these closets are proving to be difficult still. I just cannot figure out how to keep them organized. So I'm going to bring out all the bins. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to sleep with stuff under my bed, which I don't love doing energetically. However, that's the only way through. <laughs> so I have all these different kind of bins. I got these Ikea ones and I have a few of the large hay crates from over the years, which all fit like nicely under my bed and they kind of do fit a lot of stuff. So I think if I pull them all out and then organize everything I have that needs a home into them is like the next step that needs to happen. So that all of this random stuff that's kind of laying around and like my excess shoes and all of that like can have a place to live. And I think that will fix some issues I'm having. So now we have like done Ow! Oh, I just pinched my finger. Like sweaters. That type of vibe. This quilt at the Rose Bowl. So pretty. I always wanted a quilt like this and I wanted red and white. Gives it like a nice little country vibe in here. I made this little red star at ceramics. I think is cute on the wall. Okay, I think we're in a good spot for now. Things are hung up for the most part. Things are in their general places. I, I reckon we are moved in. This is the end of the three part moving vlog series. There's gonna be so much more to come. I'm so excited to see 
what this place will turn into. I just really love it here. I'm excited to do activities and crafts and decorating it and just making it even more my own. Um, so I'm, I will be sharing that obviously along the way. So it's not over. And I'm gonna do a full decorating video like my Pinterest inspo and just design inspo that I'm pulling for this place um, because I haven't wanted to make any big decisions yet because I want to go over at the inspo first go from there old apartment tour old final apartment tour finished decorated old place is gonna be next week so stay tuned for that I know everyone wants to see that yeah thanks so much for watching these I really appreciate it so many sweet comments I really you know it gets me it keeps me going the sweet comments do keep me going and but yeah I just appreciate it I appreciate everyone watching and I do feel really happy. I'm happy to be on the other side. And now we're just gonna focus on L-I-V-I-N-G. Um, okay. Also check out Thrive Market below if you're interested. Little discount for you. And I'll see you all so soon in the next one. And the mudroom. <laughs>